Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a rare form of cancer known as hairy cell leukemia. This condition is not as commonly talked about, but understanding it is crucial for those affected and for their loved ones. So, let's get started. Hairy cell leukemia is a subtype of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, primarily affecting B cells, which are a type of white blood cell crucial for your immune system. It gets its name from the appearance of the cells themselves. Under a microscope, they have fine, hair-like projections on their surfaces. This rare leukemia occurs in approximately 3 out of every million people, making it an uncommon diagnosis. Typically, hairy cell leukemia affects middle-aged men more than women, with a peak incidence between the ages of 40 and 60. However, it can occur at any age. The exact cause of hairy cell leukemia is still unknown, but researchers believe that a combination of genetic factors may play a role. Some studies suggest that exposure to certain chemicals, such as pesticides, could increase risk, although conclusive evidence is still lacking. Now, let's discuss the symptoms. Many patients with hairy cell leukemia may not exhibit symptoms in the early stages. However, as the disease progresses, symptoms may develop. Common signs include fatigue, frequent infections, easy bruising or bleeding, feelings of fullness due to spleen or liver enlargement, and sometimes, weight loss. Since the disease often leads to reduced levels of normal blood cells, patients may also experience anemia, leading to increased fatigue and weakness. Diagnosis typically begins with a blood test. Abnormal results may prompt a bone marrow biopsy, which is a procedure that involves taking a sample of bone marrow to look for the characteristic hairy cells. Imaging tests such as CT scans may also be utilized to assess the extent of the disease, particularly to evaluate organs like the spleen and liver that might be affected. So, what happens next after diagnosis? Treatment for hairy cell leukemia can vary depending on several factors, including the severity of symptoms and the progression of the disease. Fortunately, this type of leukemia often responds well to therapy. The first-line treatment usually involves a medication called cladribine, a purine analog that helps to eliminate the hairy cells from the body. Another treatment option is pentastatin, which also targets these abnormal cells. In some cases, patients may undergo a combination of therapies or receive other forms of treatment such as immunotherapy. While hairy cell leukemia can usually be managed with treatment, it's important to note that regular monitoring is essential, as some patients may experience a relapse or develop other complications. Patients with hairy cell leukemia have a relatively favorable prognosis compared to other leukemia types. With appropriate treatment, many achieve remission, meaning that the disease is no longer detectable. However, it's vital to have ongoing follow-up care with health professionals to monitor for potential relapses and manage any side effects from treatment. Life after a diagnosis of hairy cell leukemia can be challenging, but many survivors report achieving a good quality of life. Psychological support through counseling or support groups can be beneficial, as can educational resources from healthcare providers. In summary, hairy cell leukemia is a rare and specific type of leukemia primarily impacting B cells. Though it's uncommon, advancements in treatment have significantly improved outcomes for many patients. Early diagnosis and a tailored treatment plan are crucial for successful management. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms or has concerns about this condition, it is best to consult a healthcare professional. Thank you for joining us today as we explored hairy cell leukemia. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational content. Remember to share this video to help spread awareness about this rare form of leukemia. Stay healthy and informed, and we'll see you next time.